The Y-shape hull structure derives its formidable strength from the smart shape and layout of its support web. Initially, the lightweight Y-shape supports are far weaker than the hull plate. Under pressure, the base leg gradually bends, while the angled part of the Y-support is forced to fold backwards and outwards. As the hull plate stretches further, it literally pushes the surrounding supports into action causing a rippling effect that spreads the energy away from the point of impact. As there's no substitute for the brute force of nature, the test of choice was once more a full-scale experiment. Conventional wisdom said the hull couldn't survive. But it did. Eyes open and mouths drop as critics and advocates alike view the impossible. A slight dent in the outer hull, less than 30 centimeters deep, is all that is visible. Both the inner hull and the outer hull remain fully intact. To prove this result wasn't accidental, the team decides on the spot to do a second test. Surely this time, the hull would be penetrated. Amazingly, even the second collision can't breach the hull. Skelder's Y-shape hull structure stays fully intact. Compared to the old-fashioned hull, commonly thought to offer adequate protection, the difference is phenomenal. In the conventional hull design, the hulls are penetrated in just a single collision. However, with the Y-shaped design, even after two collisions, neither the inner nor the outer hull is breached. The ship stays afloat, with its cargo securely contained. <laughs>